Hello there, welcome back to today's episode on Link's Field. We are talking about Field Soul. Uh, it's the most realistic image generation you can get for Instagram influencer style uh, photos. So it's, it's honestly crazy that this is available for uh, everyone to use, just, goes, just as long as you pay Field, of course. But just take a look at these examples and see how realistic the Field Soul actually is. Uh, there, there will be, of course, some images where it's not that realistic. But honestly, overall, it's one of those image generation models where uh, outputs are guaranteed to look uh, better than what you would get with uh, simple prompting from other models. So just as I scroll past these examples, I just see what the potential is with this model. Uh, the Higgsville soul is uh, very focused on generating great influencer sort of content, like Instagram worthy uh, images that look, look real, feel real. And like, I, I honestly wouldn't doubt or maybe even consider them being AI if I hadn't seen them on this AI website. Like if I was just scrolling past them on Twitter, I could have just said, okay, yeah, that's just some woman, like that's just a man, okay. And I would just scroll past it like it's another uh, post. I wouldn't go in that in that with it. And there is actually many uh, filters, uh, like categories or styles they call it, uh, you can use in the Xfield Soul. Uh, just like the general look would be this uh, part here, but I will just go over some of them in uh, and look at the examples of each of them. So like let's start with this one. This is Sunset Beach. Uh, you know, uh, many influencers like to go on the beaches and get these Sunset uh, Beach images with their dresses on. Like uh, as you look at these examples, they feel very they feel very realistic and you may, you put you put the potential would not even uh, think twice about uh, if they are AI or not. Then uh, let's look at another one. This is an iPhone uh, style, uh, which looks and feels more realistic, more natural, like just a shot on my iPhone kind of feel, without the special uh, camera effects or angles that you would get with professional photography. Uh, this uh, relies heavily on how influencers are more and more getting comfortable with just posting uh, images from their phone to Instagram. And this is like uh, this style makes sure you are far away from the editorial magazine or advertisement uh, kind of uh, image generations. Uh, you are just uh, posting a candid picture that you, any influencer could have just shot on their iPhone. Uh, it's 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 a great uh, filter. It's a great style when you want to get user generated content, UGC kind of content, or maybe you are creating a fake influencer with an AI, and like this would work well in that regard. Then another style is this gallery kind of image, like shot from behind some man, uh, some woman, and they are just looking over the art gallery, you know, observing the images. Like this is the thing with Higgsfield, they do have so many different styles that, and some of them are just really narrowly focused down on uh, something like this. Uh, having this kind of uh, heavy stylization allows you to generate uh, some like images with real high uh, consistency across them, but I'm not really sure how broadly applicable uh, this kind of style is. Okay, it's a gallery image, sure, why not? Then you have this fish eye kind of filter or like lens type of uh, stylization, and they are probably used by uh, like music creators or models, and not so much with you uh, general influencers. Uh, but it, it would, it's it's great to have uh, that that deep of camera control by just using a style, just selecting a style. So I wouldn't. Uh, dismiss this one. Then there's another one, like just like the gallery, this is the library, the mood and feel is library, and this is narrowly focused down on having uh, your influencer with a lot of books in a library, like in a cool, calm, uh, confident uh, kind of image. Also when you, in the Higgs field, you can also just see the prompts that uh, were used to generate these images, and this works uh, well with using this place as an ex explore page to understand how prompts work, like you can understand like and read all of this prompt and see the style used. This was a 0.5 uh, selfie style. And uh, there is a lot of style like that that you can use and understand. Like this is a great place to learn too. Then there's this general style, which just generally is used for anything other than a person. Uh, you, with a person, you might want to iPhone style, but in general, you, by using the general style, you can uh, create images that look real, that are not like a person or something like that. Like there's a lot of weird examples here. I'm not sure who is creating them or why. But yeah, sure, it's it's possible to create, like, I guess, much a lot as a serum, like, it's possible. Then there's 0.5 selfie, which I previously just showcased in the main page. This is, like, a basic style, and if you have a consistent character uploaded in uh, Soul, Higgsfield Soul, you can always use your own character in each of these scenarios with different styles. And this will just basically allow you to generate many different kind of angles and poses for your character. Then another one that is initially narrowing down on a concept, like a subway uh, train uh, concept, uh, just sitting on the subway seats is a uh, style, I guess, on uh, Instagram. Sure, why not? Then there's this 0.5 outfit one, uh, which is different from 0.5 selfie because uh, it's not held by the uh, like the influencer character we have here. Uh, it's uh, shot by someone else, but it's also in the 0.5 wide lens uh, field, and it shows the full body of the person again. Moving on to quite luxury, this is the old money style that popped up on uh, Instagram a while back, and everything here is calm, collected, grounded with uh, like white, browns, and there is this uh, rich feel to everything you create in this concept. 
the people are looking uh, a bit from uh, the 80s and 70s and <laughs> cars also like they are all collector's items now but there is this like money aura in these images just look at this guy <laughs> you know he has a transplant somewhere uh, you can get these kind of uh, images with that uh, filter you might have noticed that i sometimes call these uh, tiles uh, filters because uh, there is this hard like uh, there is this forcing fee concept in the field soul where you create an image in that style means that you get exactly that style uh, like when you are using the street view you are getting exactly this kind of uh, images you always get these arrows you always get this person like uh, or you when, I, when you use an escalator you get this exact escalator sh shot with a different person uh, that might be good like you might want this exact thing but let's say I want this elevator uh, style, but with a wider angle and I want to see like what's on the left and what's on the right of the escalator. And I just, I do not want to simply see the escalator and that, that being it, like I want to see a wider angle or a different angle that allows me to see what's up the escalator. You can't get that with this kind of style. Like uh, the styles are pretty determined and pretty fixed and like really strong in that field where they apply the style no matter what you want to create. Your prompts uh, have a lot less value when you use a style that is heavily enforces this kind of look and feel. And that's why I sometimes call them as filters because they act like that. I have heavily uh, modified version of your image that is filtered, like filtered through this style to make sure you get this kind of output. So I wanted to create uh, realistic looking images, but I also looked through some of the examples and saw how long their uh, prompts are. And I just wanted to understand if there was a simple way to like cut off this uh, kind of hard and long thinking about and writing out a prompt and I looked over to the styles and I gave all of the styles in, a, in an AI model and I just said it to list all the styles given and explain why each of them would be like useful for every style uh, in the image generation tab have one of the example images so the AI was able to understand what each of the style was and it gave me an uh, alphabetical list you can see there's a lot of styles like a lot of styles that I haven't mentioned like or shown then I went over to another uh, AI studio page to you can use any of the AI tools you want, like just use Gemini or ChatGPT or Cloud, it doesn't really matter at this point. I gave a lot of the examples, like these kind of uh, prompts, and co I copied them and pasted them in. I gave the AI model an understanding of the prompts, like I have given it a lot of different prompts, and I told it to study and learn from these prompts. And I just wanted it to learn, so I gave it a lot of prompts, like 18 prompts, I guess, yeah, 18 prompts. Then I uh, explained what I want to see, like uh, you have a nice knowledge of prompting, like uh, I wanted to imagine a scene where there was a woman at the cafe that she was uh, crossing her legs and grabbing a cup of coffee from her side, so like uh, we, I wanted to, the coffee to be on the left side of the image, so right side of her, and I wanted the camera to look at her from an outside, like not, uh, you. I, I didn't want a POV version or, or some other uh, view, I just wanted to see her. I explained my idea to the AI model and based off all the other prompts it has seen, it created me an output prompt, which is uh, quite long, like, uh, I like that it's quite long. <laughs> it's great to see a prompt being long uh, because it increases your trust, I guess. Then I went over to uh, Hicksfield to generate this image. These are these were the outputs we got, like four of the outputs, and these are all using the general style from Hicksfield. Uh, you can see that these are all general styles, because at this point I haven't told the AI model about different styles. And uh, you can see the image creation uh, field here to understand, like this is the where you paste the prompts. And if I were creating this, I would just select this, copy that and paste my prompt here. There is an option to select a character, uh, which if you click, you have these uh, five different char consistent characters Higgs field gives you. And I have created my own uh, consistent character. It's a very easy concept. Like you just press create new and place create character. You upload 20 uh, images that are featuring a single person that is your consistent character. You do not want messy, blurry or group photos. You upload those images from here and wait a few minutes. It takes about eight or 10 minutes to get the character going, but uh, you get your character. Then you can select a style from here, which uh, features all of the styles we saw previously, but it also features a lot of different styles. Uh, like you can load more to see all of these styles. There is a lot actually. The DMV, like you can see here, uh, this one just creates a license plate worth image. Okay, that's interesting. I'm pretty sure no one is abusing that to create uh, illegal stuff, sure. There is this like TikTok core, which has a lot of uh, TikTok kind of aesthetics, I think. Like there is Instagram pictures, which I'm more familiar with. Yeah, I understand these Instagram ones. TikTok ones just uh, are way above my uh, time spent on the phone. There is camera presets like that allow you to diff use different kind of cameras, like grid 19's grain or CCTV footage ones. There is this beauty ones, like a beauty influencer fashion thing, I think. There, there even is this graphic art one, uh, which allows you to generate non-realistic, non-real person images. 
But I would honestly suggest you use another model at this point. Like if you are using Higgs field soul, you might as well create realistic uh, looking images. Okay, so where are we? Uh, the, you can select the aspect ratio. I select nine, 9 to 16, which is the Instagram uh, version. There you select high quality, basic quality. You select your batch size. I always go for fours and even like run that twice to get eight. So I go for eight, let's say. Uh, you are of course going to use that soul because we are talked about talking about Higgsfield soul model. Why else would you use something else? And there is this photo dump feature uh, which uses your uh, consistent character to generate this photo dump and which basically gets you a ton of the different images like this, uh, 26 images all using a different style and it prompts them itself. And just like that with the click of a button and selecting your consistent character you get uh, the character like photoshopped, like recreated in each of these different uh, styles. Uh, this is great if you are wanting to like populate an Instagram account or an influencer account to start off, I think, but the images are like, not the best. I'm not sure if you want to like use this and not, not prompt your images. These are like very wildly different kind of photos. Like how many of them are you going to really be able to use? But I'm also showing you of the like examples and they are not that bad. You can always like upscale these images. You can go full screen, like rerun and download this. Like if you do not like this one, just uh, select rerun of this image, of this single. And it will do that. And then you can download all or go to library to uh, like select the ones you like or just download them all and populate your Instagram account and easily. This is uh, the photo dump feature. And if you continue, uh, I tried this uh, 24G7 like fil filter. I think like this, this only generates a single kind of image, which is very, very narrowly focused down on this uh, camera shot and this angle. And uh, like whatever the prompt I gave, it just create this. Then I tried uh, like creating a DJ. It didn't really work out that well. Then I got some of these like sensitive content warnings, like it failed to create my image. I wasn't sure why it was failing to create my image. I talked about this like in the AI. I I told I, I wanted to create this uh, consistent character. You might have seen in my previous videos. Uh, we have created her uh, in like Sea Dream, I think. And then I gave this outfit, and I wanted to like create this woman wearing this outfit in some sort of place, and I wanted to create these kind of prompts. But I was getting like a lot of sense in content labels, like why is that? And it ex like, I explained to me some things, like it could be about like mentioning fl flesh, chest, hips, legs, uh, intimate, like, uh, like I wasn't using sensual seductive stuff, but it might be like an intimate, personal and candid kind of uh, keywords we were using in the prompt that were causing uh, sensitive uh, photo alerts. Then I just uh, like uh, rewrite your last prompt in, in a way that tr trigger these filters. And the output to safer uh, prompt was uh, very well actually. Uh, it worked well. I tried that in, with uh, different posts also, a very Instagram worthy one. Uh, let's just go over them. And this is the Tokyo street style uh, one. Uh, there is this uh, Tokyo street style stylization. Here, let me show you that Tokyo. Uh, this Tokyo street style is like people wearing outfits out of uh, places and stores, I think. And, th and that worked well when I was trying to generate these images. And like this one and the, these three other ones were of the general style. Like you can understand like how these three differ to, to these three. She is out of a store, like she, there's people walking by. But in this one, like there's no other people around her. Like it's just her. Uh, if you want just her, you can use the general style or uh, as I have found out, like you can use the iPhone style, I think. Like, yeah, this one, iPhone style. And these three are also iPhone style. Like if you use the iPhone or general, you get what you kind of prompted. You do not get anyone else in the picture or the frame. But when you use this Tokyo street style kind of stylization, it always puts someone behind you because in these Tokyo styles, there is always someone out there. Like these are uh, shot on the street with people walking by, I think. That's why I always got people when I be people in the background when I use the Tokyo street style feature. But uh, other stylization like general was very cool with her in the middle of the street without anyone else around. And also the same thing for the this one style, this is also general, but I also use iPhone to see what difference that makes with the general one. I'm not really sure there is that uh, big of a difference to immediately notice if it's an iPhone stylization or general stylization. Well, as long as my prompt goes, I think it was more uh, similar to an iPhone uh, photo. Anyway, like regardless of what style I used. But uh, this was an uh, easy like uh, way to get realistic photos uh, that are similar in character. I didn't even put the consistent character feature into this uh, prompt. I like I ran these uh, images without a consistent character selected from here, even though I had the character at hand. I just wanted to see how Higgsfield Soul handles my prompt in various different stylizations, and it it was actually surprisingly well. Like I'm I'm not unhappy about any of these images. Maybe the general one when I first tried, like there there, there being no one else around, is uh, kind of sus. But overall, the image looks realistic enough to fool me if I was a bit sleepy, I guess. <laughs> and the render renders people around is just much more realistic. Like this one, I think, and like these three are pretty well when you have other people passing by. I think that's the thing with AI image generation. When you feel it's perfect, it feels a lot more like an AI. And you want these like people around, litter in the ground, 
a graffiti in the background or like lens fray, lens flare or maybe not and maybe maybe even an unclean lens like having like oil in the lens that makes your uh, brights more blurry or something like that those kind of imperfections makes what uh, air in image feel real and ai just make everything perfect if you do not prompt it to have this kind of uh, messiness just like look at these pictures there is no litter in the ground so the ground is perfect like whites of stripes in the background are perfect everything is so well like uh, it, it feels like a, we are living in a utopia while we are not actually so seeing those kind of imperfections like having people in the background having some trash like i think what are these like very little white things in the ground that uh, makes uh, and that makes it so the ground is not perfect is great actually like if we had more imperfections in the image it would feel more realistic and I guess that's how we are going to differentiate images in the future. Like if an image is perfect, we'll understand it's AI because the way things are going uh, and how fast they are going, we, we do not currently have the tool sets to understand what images AI and what images not. So if you want to fool more people, uh, plug in more uh, imperfections into your prompt, I guess. But don't do that, of course. Other than that, do we have anything else to mention here? Do we have anything else to talk about? I'm not really sure. Today's video was a bit late one. I wanted to upload this one a few more hours earlier than I did, and I will, I guess. But uh, I had some problems with Hicksfield generations. There were some means, there, there were many distractions in the app. Like there's so much things to think about in here that I got distracted and sidetracked a lot of times. I even got sidetracked with the photo dump feature in this video. So you'll have to excuse that one. It's, it's a great feature, but uh, it wasn't the main concept of the video. Sorry about that. So, <laughs> regardless, I think uh, this was a great introduction to Hicksfield Soul and how great it images it generates if you hadn't seen this model previously. And I hope you were inspired to create some realistic looking images. And I believe that you will not abuse this model to generate some harmful or potentially unethical content, right? Right? Okay. <laughs> See you then, huh? Take care.